I studied at university, which was established uh, in 16th century. I uh, spent a lot of time in ancient cathedrals to listening to organ concerts. And as I was sitting there, there were these gorgeous glass, stained glass windows and mosaics on the floor of the cathedrals. And so it was something what I was surrounded by. I knew uh, it, it was part of how I grew up, who I was. And then when we moved to Oregon, my kids came one day and had a school project, which was they were supposed to make a salmon as a mosaic. And so we all made a salmon together. And when I start touching the glass, I have these this feeling, I, I want to do this. And so I start doing stepping stone more and more and, and it eventually evolved into me doing a community building projects with uh, different communities in Portland and we do big mo mosaic murals. And so I brought people from different walks of life together doing these mosaic projects because they sit around the tables and after 15 minutes when they do high by, they start having meaningful conversations. And I find that very intriguing as a tool for social change. For the particular piece in uh, The Planets, the, which is in art in Embassy, that is inspired by literary arts. About three years ago, I was reading a book called Graha Sutras. Graha meaning planets and sutras mean teaching of. And it's ancient Hindu text about the planets. And I have decided to do 11 planets, meaning Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Sun, and Moon, and use the mosaic itself to express the uniqueness of how mosaic can be put together in the whole series of the planets. With the uh, planets as a piece, it has been initially made into the space which is viewed from 100 feet away, at the same time from a feet away. So I had a challenge as an artist to bring something what is very interesting and bold in a color when you see it first, but as the viewer come close to it, to find intricacies and details which is enticing. And I... Um, decided to use very unusual material in mosaic art because there is not only glass, but they are glass beads. Glass beads, which has been sourced from my native land, from Czech Republic, from uh, their lampered glass beads from Italy. There are glass from India, and there are also antique cathedral glass, more than hundred years old from United States. And I put them together, the modern pieces with the old, meaning the material, the glass, and create something which is uh, very unusual to put together because it's 3D. It's not flat when you touch it. It has that uh, three-dimensional uh, feel to it. The answer uh, is it depends. It depends how technically uh, challenging is the piece. It can be anywhere uh, like a square foot uh, done in 10 hours, it can be 100 hours. It can be several hundred hours. The planets itself took about three months to make. And the process which I use for that particular piece called direct method in uh, mosaic, I have a substrate, which is foam-like looking substrate and has a layer of cement on it. And I basically have to draw the design where every individual piece is drawn, where it's going to be put. Then I take a sheet of glass, I score it, and I cut it into pieces which look like strips. And then from those strips, I take a mosaic nippers and I cut the shapes which come in and are glue into the face itself. And then it sit for about two days to harden it. And then come the challenging part where in order to make mosaic durable, I work with grout. It's not like that in mosaic smalti, let's say in Italian work, which you see there. They don't use grout. Um, but for the planet itself, I basically spread a layer of cement over it, let it sit for about 15 minutes and start cleaning it. 
And what was technical challenge in the piece I did is that it's 3D. So you have the beads sticking out of it. And they are lumpered beads, which has like little dots on them, or they are African beads, which are hand carved. So it's very tedious work and not many people does it for this particular reason, because the cleaning itself, it's very short period of time because it's basically hardening cement very quickly. So it's like, you cannot go and have a lunch. <laughs> you have to work and get it out. And then eventually I work uh, with a steel wool, which basically take all the impurities. So if you come close to it, there is a like clean look to, to the mosaic beads. And with the beads in particular, there are some gorgeous beads in, in that piece. Yeah.